What's up guys, YK44 back with you and today we're going to look at some Queen Charge Lavaloon attack strategy for Town Hall 12. In this video, you're going to learn how to do this strategy the most efficiently and learn some tips and tricks here and there. But first, let me talk about the bug that inspired me not only to improve my game skills but also improve my YouTube channel and improve my career. And this book, Atomic Habits, it's not sponsored. I like it myself and that's why I'm recommending the book to you guys. You guys can use the link in the description which is going to help my channel gain a couple of cents here and there. Alright, so we're diving into the first attack here. This is a practice attack because practice is important guys. Practice makes perfect. So, I'm going to do maybe a log launcher here. Let me see. Let's start the queen. And then do the healers. But of course, doing the Cocoloon that I did before dropping the healers is important because there could be black mines right in front of there. So let's drop the Sneaky Goblin here. I'm gonna drop the Baby Dragon as well. This is to funnel to ensure that the Queen is going inside. I dropped uh, a Headhunter to fight the enemy King. And my Queen should wrap inside. So I'm starting the King to funnel the other side of the base so my Queen does not walk towards the up uh, area where the king is funneling currently. Now wall broke and I'm sending some more cocoloons to grab those exactly those black mines that were pulled and those red mines that were pulled. So I'm raging my queen as she fights the enemy queen here. She should take out the eel artillery. I do not think I need the uh, log launcher anymore so I'm switching to stone slammer using the king's ability and I'm gonna wall break my king into this single inferno compartment right here and that way hopefully the king takes out the single inferno let's see let's freeze the single inferno that way my king is able to do some damage I don't think maybe yeah I don't think the king is going to be able to take it entirely but hey let's rage up the queen let's invisible the queen and the healers because there's four expos targeting my queen let's send some balloons for the single inferno and then we can start the um, the stone slammer right here in this area and do some minions to clean up I'm gonna rage up my queen once more because their previous rage was wearing off dropped the poison for the skeletons um, that I didn't need because there were no no clan castle troops here But that's okay um, Dropping some more balloons as the stone slammer is moving forward in this base And I'm gonna start the lava loon pretty soon raging of the queen one more time as she deals with Those expos starting with the lava loons dropped the lava hound and some balloons dropping more balloons more balloons more balloons and the grand warden here and some more minions for cleanup. Queen's ability is going to be used um, to, you know, take out the single inferno, but that's okay. We have still one haste spell. The stone slammer did not even open. I'm using the warden ability because I don't have anything to use it on anymore. That is the swag warden ability, swag haste spell, swag stone slammer troops, like clan castle troops. Uh, didn't really need them. But that's okay. Um, so yeah, this is how I think you can do uh, Queen Charge Lava Loon the most efficiently. You don't have to always go for a log launcher. You don't have to go for always a blimp. You can decide on on the fly. All right, we're jumping into the war attack here. I did not even scout the base, so probably not a good idea. But hey, the base does not look like it is. Um, it doesn't look like it's scary because a lot of it is not fully upgraded like no it's mostly the walls I think yeah everything is upgraded just the walls they're not really upgraded and maybe the wizard towers as well not sure but let's go with a stone slammer I think on this one huh you know what no let's go with a blimp I'll blimp the single inferno so starting the queen dropping the sneaky goblin and the baby dragon to funnel dropping some Balloons, cocoa balloons actually to pull some black mines, sending in the battle blimp, raging up the yeti blimp here, and then I'm gonna drop the healers onto my queen. So the queen perfectly walks inside this channel and straight goes for the eagle artillery. Now let's see, I'm dropping a lot of cocoa balloons here because um, I don't want to lose all of my healers because 
you know, this kind of channel, usually they're full of seeking air mines and I, I really hate it <laughs> if, if all of my healers die by the time my queen is like in the middle of the base. Now the wall breaks are kinda drunk, uh, okay, wall breaks are not working, that's okay, I'm, I'm gonna start the king here up top, so the king can clear out those buildings, preventing the time fail for me, and the queen is taking out the eagle artillery, that is a good thing, and with that, I think, yeah, I, I don't think I can start the Lalo right now, although I could, if I wanted to. But I think I want to wait until I have a straight line for the Lava Loom. So I'm going to let my queen, uh, you know, clear out all these buildings here along with the king. I'm going to drop a couple of balloons here and there um, to take out buildings that my king cannot reach because they're inside the base. That the queen is also unable to reach but should be cleared out for that straight line that I want for my Lalo. So since the, yeah, as soon as this air defense is going down, I'm starting with the Lava Loon here. Don't have too much balloons because I used a lot of them already, but that's okay. Starting with the minion cleanup as well. I'm gonna haste my balloons into the wizard tower and I'm gonna drop the last two balloons here as well. Dropping the cleanup minions. I'm gonna freeze the town hall. We have a plenty of rage spells, guys. I'm gonna use rages left and right here and there. So freezing again, the sweeper, the town hall, the inferno. I'm gonna use the grand warden's ability as the balloons move towards the town hall, raging up them again because why not? The town hall does go down, invisibling the balloons here and raging them again going on top of the enemy queen and taking down these Teslas. Now I do have the king's ability, the queen's ability, enemy queen does go down to our heroes, to our lava pups and yeah with that the king's ability is being used and we have a crushing 3 star on this base. I hope, I hope you enjoyed this attack because um, we have one more attack to go but this is the 3 star right here. All right, we are in for the second attack in the war. And again, I did not scout, I'm going totally blind. But hey, <laughs> looking at this base, I really did not need to scout it. Uh, it's a totally new Tunnel 12. So let's do this. Let's start the queen, let's drop the balloons, let's drop the battle blimp to go inside and take out the eagle artillery, the air defense, and the single inferno. And I also dropped the headhunter, kind of sneaked her in or him in. I don't know if headhunters are male or female, but hey, uh, it took out the enemy queen. That's what we wanted. Dropped the healers onto my queen. I'm starting with the sneaky goblin and the baby dragon and the king to sort of funnel for my queen. Also doing the wall break so the queen goes inside, walks into that channel of the expo compartment. That's what we want. So from that compartment, the queen should be able to you know, reach the town hall and that's what we are looking to get here. Now, the king's ability is being used. Uh, the king, okay, the king is coming inside. That's, that's not good. That is not good. My king, oh god. My healers are gonna switch. I'm gonna rage up, I'm gonna invisible my queen so she does not die. The healers luckily do not transfer to the king alone. And that's good, the king dies. That's also very, very, very good. I'm gonna freeze the single inferno and I'm gonna drop the hound, drop my balloons, send my warden. It's just, you know, panic mode right now. Uh, setting in all of my balloons that I can. Uh, the lava hound was to distract the single inferno. That way my queen does not lose her ability, raging her up again as she fights the enemy king. She walks out of the um, range of the single and I pop the Grand Warden's ability, dropping more balloons, more cleanup minions. I'm gonna freeze wherever it's needed, maybe not needed at all. I can rage up these balloons, take out this single inferno right here. And with that, I think I think this base is already pretty crushed. Um, I honestly shouldn't be making videos if I could not crush this video. Um, not video this crush this base uh, English is hard guys stay in school but hey uh, using the Queen's ability to clear out buildings a little bit quicker so I do not time fail and I do not jinx myself and I'm gonna have a swag free spell that I'm gonna drop 
onto the clan castle. Let me take a look. Um, it's gonna be very awful if I drop the freeze bill onto the clan castle and then I time fail. I do not want to get into that embarrassing situation, so I'm not gonna drop it until I'm like super sure that it's gonna three star. So I'm gonna wait for it. My balloons are clearing off defenses, and I'm I think I'm we're good. We can definitely drop the freeze here, so I dropped it. And with 20, 18 seconds, I think, to spare, we get the three star. If you enjoyed this, I think you'll enjoy the um, Channel 12 Blizzard Lalo guide as well. So go watch that video on the screen right now. I'll see you guys in the next one. Till then, take care.